today's WeatherWise segment where we take something difficult in the world of meteorology and make it easy to understand. We're going to talk about wind shear. Pretty complex definition, but I'm going to make it easy. It's the changing of wind speed and wind direction, or both, with height, and it's one of the main ingredients for severe weather. And depending on whether you have directional wind shear or just speed wind shear, that determines whether you're going to get damaging wind gusts or you'll get tornadoes. Let's talk about when you have the former. That is, you have an increasing wind speed with height, but the direction is the same from the surface through the upper part of the atmosphere, in this case, case out of the west-southwest. When you have this uh, set of criteria, you're ge generally not going to get tornadoes, you're gonna get straight line winds. Here's what happens. Thunderstorms build, all that increasing wind with height allows for some energy. You start getting rain, the rain is cooled by some evaporation, and then that air is forced south, or not south, but downward, and it accelerates as it comes uh, down to the surface. And that's where you can get some really, really strong winds. And that's where you tend to get the gust front, which is the lowering of the thunderstorm. It always looks very dangerous. Wind gusts with that, and it can actually spawn additional thunderstorms here. Now, let's talk about uh, the directional wind shear, when the wind direction changes with height. In this case, from the southeast at the surface all the way to the west at uh, 9,000 feet. That imparts a spin in the atmosphere, right? And that spin in the atmosphere is what allows tornadoes to form because you start getting some uh, uh, directional or uh, a, a little vorticity there, a little spinning in the horizontal, and that becomes vertical and that produces the tornado.